Hi. Um, a couple of things here. What I want to do is strengthen these a little bit without losing the transparency. So it's really just a question of ripping up tissue paper into pieces like that and then folding them into four and I just snip off the corner which just gives me the little hole that I need and then what I'm going to do is just paint the back this is PVA and water so it's nice and squidgy sloft, sloft. <laughs> As a good word, sloft. I suppose that's soft and sloppy, sloft. And then just place that on the back like that, press it in, and paint the back again. You don't have to go all over the outer bits because I'm going to tear it later when it's dry. So just stick that on the back like so. and put some more on, like that, and another one. So what it will do, it will, I won't put glue on the back of that one, I'll leave that one, just squidge it down. Just nice, so it's like that. And then when Tomorrow I'll just tear around the edges and then if necessary strengthen it again just so I can build it up. I can slightly bend it in as well without making it conical and I'll just pop that in the, the drying place. So that was one thing I wanted to show. The other one was these beads that we, we I, we did. Um, some of them I have just painted with epoxy resin. So they're really nice and hard. And other ones I have uh, maybe painted with epoxy resin as well as painting over. I sometimes use this De La Rowney System 3 white acrylic paint. Anyone will do really. And what I've done on some of them, I've just put paint all around them yesterday and let them dry. What I want to do now is start to put little trails of colour on just a few because it's going to be a predominantly white necklace or bangle and um, I use these as little mixing cups oh, there. It's useful. and then this is a pink pearlescent paint which I'll just put a splodge in and this is a De La Rowney marine blue which I will put probably about an equal amount in so You've got, it doesn't have, it looks quite blue there. It's a marine blue, so it's got a sort of greenness about it. But when you mix the pink in it, it gives a really interesting colour. It's nice. You can always add a little bit more pink. You wouldn't think, would you, adding pink and green? But it gives you a sort of, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, just a kind of a grey marine. It's lovely. So, I need a thinner brush than that. So, with a almost dry brush, take um, whoops, take one of these. This is one with a little bit on the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally just put that much on, very little, like that. Um, this one I might just put some swirls around the edge. It's just going to be a little bit. I'll do it on a few of those um, and then probably what I'll do afterwards is put some of the acrylic gold size just around parallel to that green and then put some silver leaf on that bit. Um, I have already put some acrylic gold size on this already so I could show you 
Oh, sometimes I use silver foil and the reason I use silver foil is because you can paint on top of it. So I would cut a little bit off and then just wrap it around where I put the, and squeeze it. And pull it off. Ah, good. So you see we've just got little tiny bits of silver. Now if I was to take that green again and put it on top of the silver, you can't tell but tomorrow you'll see that it shines through, catches the light quite beautifully. And what I want to do is play around with the suggestion of a floral image on the top without it actually being an image, sort of an impressionistic thing. So we need to have um, silver with colour on top to make it look a little bit like stained glass with the light coming through. And then maybe um, a little kind of runnel of thick white against it, like that. And then tomorrow I will try and put on some pink, but the tiniest amount. But the thing about putting pink on, because pink is pink and terribly sugary, I've just thrown all my pink things out of my wardrobe. I think pink, no, no, no longer. I am beyond pink now. However, if I put a little bit on here, like that, and that is a lot, then um, what I can do is I can move it around with white so it's only the tiniest amount going to show through. I'm going to put pink back and they will look really nice so if you're still with me at this stage um, that's a good thing to do experiment by painting them. I think that's kind of about it Oh yes, one thing I did do, um, I also, <laughs> I like that, um, you know the, the little conical one I made, I took a piece of mod rock and cut it and then I, I pulled off the edges so you got a frayed edge all the way around, like so. quite so rough because <laughs> what I wanted to get with these little bits going around the edge then just cut it in the middle like that and then this is <laughs> I wet it and put it around the edge I'll do the same thing here so oh it's blue that's quite nice actually doesn't matter it won't really make any difference and then I put that around the edge like that use a different kind of paintbrush now Use a pink one so we get that colour. And just, it's only water really. And heave that round the corner. And just wet it so you get these spiky bits sticking out. I might need to poke the hole through just to make sure it's still there. So, what I've done is got these. That will then dry and be stiff and then take it a stage further. So I'll just put it in the drying cabinet. And that's nine minutes. So tempest fuges, eh? So I really will have to stop now. Bye.